Hey guys and welcome back to Tamer Battles and today we are fighting a Bill and he is found on the wild shore and he is in the cap of Stranglethorn Field and he will come at you with a murloc. Oh dear, you gotta watch out for the murloc and he will also have two flying types. So your best bet here is the Nether Ray Fry. He is really good. He has an undead attack which will be good against the humanoid plus he also has a magic attack which is good against the flying types. And he is pretty damn awesome. I've also got some dragons here because they take less damage from the flying attacks. And they also have er, magical attacks as well. So let's get into this pet battle. And let's start off with getting some undead attacks on the go. Yay. So the Murloc's not too difficult. He does have a heal plus he can give his team a good wee buff there but his main attack is the punch which is kind of strong but it's nothing to write home about. So he is nice and dead. Now it is next up mini wing and he is going to die by the arcane blast attack which does a hell of a lot of damage and will increase in damage every time you use it up by I think it is an extra 50 or so damage that it increases to which is pretty damn awesome. And as you can see that cyclone is doing work but because we have dragon types in the back line it's not going to be too effective against them. Now, this is just the good old normal... I can't remember what the flying type it is. I know it's one of the parts, but it's nothing to write home about. It does have the fly attack, which is kind of strong. And I'm going to switch out because I want to get as much XP for all my pets as possible. And it doesn't do too much damage to the good old dragon types. And we're just going to blast him with the good old nether, er, with the moonfire ability, which is super strong. So that is how easy it is to kill our Bill Buckle. And he, he's not too hard, as you've seen there. So I've been the Bill, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.